Stuart Turner, I'm director of uh, Sushi Sushi. Um, we're a wholesale and retail supplier of Japanese food, catering equipment and tableware. Well, I started out at Barnsley Market, um, cleaning the fridges out. Then I moved on to being a waiter at Cubley Hall. I worked selling shoes in a clothes shop in Meadow Hall. Then I sell phones in Topshop, DJ in a nightclub, promoted nightclub event and event management. Sold smart cards for a living, sold Volkswagens. Then I went to pick grapes, did an office job. I worked in a sushi bar. After that I was a waiter in a seafood restaurant, a bathroom e-commerce business, selling toilets online. Um, and then I started a little website, just educating British people at what sushi was. and. Uh, it's kind of grown from there. Uh, the best part of working for myself or running a company is probably the freedom that it gives you. So um, although you do work hard, you, you do it on your own terms and you control everything. The worst thing about having your own business is it's really up to you. Uh, if, you, if, you if you don't do well, you could be, you could be in a bit of trouble. So there is more risk than just getting a job. I think the advice I give to myself at 15 would be to stick to what you're doing and finish it off before you do something else. Because, I mean, my, my varied career path gave me a lot of uh, experience in it in a broad sense. But not completing things is the biggest mistake I've made. If I'd have completed everything I started out doing, then I would have been a lot further a lot sooner. I'm Addy Carney and I'm a test engineer. My job is a test engineer. We get in seals from industry and we refurbish them and then we test them, inspect them and then send them back out to industry. The, the apprenticeship is um, it's three years. The first year is in the training centre where I learn how to machine and then this year um, at company four days a week and I go to college one day a week and do a HNC. At the end of the apprenticeship I'll have a level three NVQ and a HNC in mechanical engineering. Uh, the best thing about doing an apprenticeship is you can you get paid while you still learn and uh, you get lots of experience in a company. To a 15 year old I'd say uh, do an apprenticeship because you get paid and you get lots of experience as well while you're doing it. My name is Gus Bousfield and I um, record and produce and write music for television. I have a studio. My first job was, was selling kind of mops and dusters and things door to door. Then I went and worked at a hospital, just like doing general admin. Went um, to Nottingham to do a degree in Nottingham. I worked. I worked at the building society, but like loading boxes of deeds around in the cellar. Uh, worked for British Gas for a bit, like a couple of call centres job, call centre jobs. Went to France with a bat playing in a band. Was working on the beach at the same time, selling drinks. So I worked for um, the council for a bit, so, and I went to London and started playing with a band. There was a bit kind of little bit more successful and I started building up more equipment and I actually rented a room within this, this little studio complex with one of the guys that used to stand with the mic like recording stuff and so I started to just kind of pitch to people oh you know do you need a tune I do write bits of music do you need a, a tune for this particular program um, the best thing is it's probably creative that's a good thing and it's interesting to write to be writing music for stuff and it's kind of varied in kind of how you manage your time. So because I'm only working for myself, uh, and as long as I deliver things to deadlines, then I can kind of manage when I do that, whether that's at one in the morning or whether it's at during the day, you know, that whatever <coughs> needs doing that, you know. I think what I have kind of learned, I suppose, to, as advice to my 15-year-old self is that um, sometimes it, it can be worthwhile sticking with something that you you know you kind of want to do, um, even though uh, initially that can seem quite difficult and very kind of up and down. Um, I think that you know in the end that that is possible that that can come through. You shouldn't rule it out. <laughs>